Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse and I am back for another iOS accessible app spotlight video. Um, this time we are taking a look at a resource app that might be helpful for some users. Um, this is the Seeing, uh, seeing Eye. Not, I keep wanting to say Seeing AI because that's what I'm always using. The Seeing Eye Advocacy app. It is a free app in the App Store. And I have not even opened it yet, but I downloaded it and I saw it mentioned, I believe, on Twitter a while back. And this is supposed to be kind of a reference um, for guide dog users. There might be some other stuff just for blindness in general. But we're going to explore this a little bit because, again, um, there, you know, there's a lot of people who have guide dogs and whether it's being allowed into a business, um, whether it's getting turned away in a taxi cab or an Uber or a Lyft, or if it's like I've even, you know, when I, when I first moved into my apartment here, I told them, Hey, I'm, I'm, I may have a friend stop by periodically and he has a guide dog cause this is a no pets, uh, building, no pets, uh, residence. And, you know, by law, they are allowed, we are allowed to have uh, service animals in our building. And they didn't put too much of a stink about it. They are just like, oh, okay, well, just let us know. And, you know, they were asking, like, well, if, he, if he's here, he'll clean up after, like, if the dog goes to the bath, you know, goes out to go to the bathroom, right? I'm like, yes, he knows how to do that. That's, you know, it was, it was a weird kind of encounter, but it hasn't been a problem. He's visited several times. So those types of issues. So that's what I think this will be helpful for people. You know, maybe you need to, if you're out somewhere and you need to bring it to somebody's attention, be it a business or something like that. The seeing eye registered advocacy. Let's go into the seeing eye. Okay. The let's seeing see eye registered advocacy. Here. The seeing eye advocacy app. The seeing eye advocacy app. Let's read our splash screen here. The seeing eye advocacy app. Terms and conditions of use. www.seeingeye.org. Your use of the Seeing Eye Advocacy app, okay. app constitutes a legally binding except terms and conditions. Sure. Uh, I, of course, I agree. The Seeing Eye Registered Advocacy. Because <laughs> it's just a whole spiel. All right. So we've got our big old main screen here. The Seeing Eye Registered Advocacy. Search icon. Button. We can search. Segway That's search. nice. United States federal law. Button. United States state laws. Button. United States territorial laws. Button. Oh, okay. Canadian federal laws. Button. Canadian provincial laws. Button. Educational materials. Button. Learn about the Seeing Eye. Button. About this app. Button. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at United some United States state laws. Button. Set United States United States federal law. Button. Let's look at our Air federal travel. law Button. here. Air travel. Button. Oh, okay. Set to a view containing documents regarding Air Department travel. of Transportation regu emergency preparedness. Button. Employment. Questions and answers about service animals in the workplace. Button. Okay. Housing. Service animal guidance. Button. Public spaces. Button. Transportation. Button. Ah, there we Transportation. go. Transportation. Button. So let's go into one of these. Air travel. Button. Let's go into air Segment. travel. Department of Transportation. General information. Button. Oh. Depart air travel. He Department of Transportation. General information. Button. Department of Transportation. Regulations. Button. Assistance in the airport. Button. TSA screening with a service animal. Button. So these all just appear to be documents, or is it just going to open PDF files Se or Depart something? Department of Transportation. Je Department of Text Field. Is edit list items. Button. Oh, okay. One button. U. S. D. O. T. Office of Aviation Consumer Protection. A note from the Seeing Eye Registered. This information was excerpted from the U. S. Department of Transportation's Office of Aviation Consumer Protection webpage and can be found at https colon slash slash www.transportation.governor slash individuals slash aviation hyphen consumer hyphen protection slash service hyphen animals link okay i was I, I wanted it to read that out because i wanted to see if it was an actual clickable link that is good so we can pop out to that if we wanted to go to the full site service animals under the air carrier access act acaa a service animal means a dog regardless of breed or type that is individually trained to do work or perform tasks for the benefit of a qualified individual with a disability including a physical sensory psychiatric intellectual or other mental disability animal species other than dogs emotional support animals comfort animals companionship animals and service animals in training are not service animals right things to know which service animal species are airlines required to recognize and transport Bullet airlines are required to recognize dogs as service animals and accept them for transport on flights to, within, and from the United States. Airlines, okay. though not required, are free to transport other species for passengers if they choose to do so. List start. 
Under what circumstances may airlines deny transport to a service dog? Bullet airlines are permitted to deny transport to a service dog if it, list start. O violates safety requirements, e.g., too large or heavy to be accommodated in the cabin, list start. O poses a direct threat to the health or safety of others, list, O causes a significant disruption in the cabin or at airport gate areas, O violates health requirements, e.g., prohibited from entering the U.S. territory or foreign country. Bullet airlines may also deny transport to a service dog if the airline requires complete DOT service animal. How do airlines, bullet airlines can determine whether an animal, how do airlines determine whether an animal is a service animal? Okay. Bullet, how do airlines determine whether an animal is a service animal? Now, one thing that they could do is, I was sort of, that's why I went back and read it again. Um, you know, this was copy and pasted, but if they wanted to make this even a little more spiffy, um, because if I look at this visually, well, I guess it's no, airlines determine what bullet airline can it's not really any, any bigger or darker. You could make those headings and then you, then you could navigate by heading through here and try to find the question that you're looking for. So I'm not going to read all of this, of course, cause there's just tons and tons of, uh, resources, but we're going to pop into, you know, a few other categories just to see what they have. List items. Button. But again, if you're a done. Oh wait, what? PDF document. PDF document. PDF document. 134 kilobyte. PDF document. 75 kilobytes. Oh weird. Done. Button. Okay, so I can choose. Huh. List, list items. Button. Done. Button. So let's go done. Department of Transportation. Back button. Let's go back. Back button. Emergency preparedness. Button. Employment. Questions and answers about service animals. Oh yeah. Done. Button. Okay. Title. J A N. Job accommodation network description ah. practical solutions workplace success. The cover okay. contains contact information. Job accommodation network accommodation and compliance series. So I wonder if you could do you, like if you have to read these in the app or like on that page there was that little menu button in the upper left corner, and it had a whole bunch of PDF options. I wonder if some of these you can export out and then I, like if I wanted to read them in Voice Dream or something. I wonder if you could accommodation and compliance series. Service animals as workplace accommodations. Jen's accommodation and compliance introduction heading up because more people are using service animals. Employers are receiving more requests from employees who want to use their service animals in the workplace. The following are some of the issues these employers face in practical guidance to address the issues. Questions and answers heading level two. Okay. Does the Americans with disabilities? So now we got headings on this page. Okay. Yeah, this appears. I'm just going to scroll down. Okay. So two of ten. Yeah, um, it, like I said, it's just it's just a bunch of resources. Everything looks, you know, I can well, this means move my finger. Title does not uh, I can explore by touch. I can navigate by rotor element. It seems like they've really just pooled a lot of resources together and put them all in one place for your convenience. Done. Button. So that's some Employment. workplace stuff Questions you can read housing. about. Service, public space, transportation. Button. Let's look at transportation. Lift service animal policy. Button. Aha, here we go. Lift service animal, pol Lift service animal policy. Lift service animal rider pamphlet. Button. Lift service animal user guide. Button. So what's nice is if I Lift went to this pamphlet, pamphlet. let's go in here. List items. Button. Because I want to see, like if you're, let's say that, you know, sometimes the, I've heard the drivers will just, you know, if they see you with a dog, they'll slow down and they'll they'll just drive away. But if they do get, you know, if they do stop and then they say, hey, you can't have a dog or whatever, you know, when you schedule a ride, you could have this document ready and be like, at hey, Lyft, check this out. Everyone has, at Lyft, we believe everyone has the right to get a safe ride and have a great experience. This applies to everyone, including passengers with service animals. Service animals are working animals, not pets. Service animals undergo extensive training to assist individuals with disabilities. They help blind people travel, alert deaf people to sounds, protect persons who are having a seizure, and perform many other tasks to help individuals with disabilities. Lyft service animal policy is simple. It's always yes. Drivers on the Lyft uh -huh. platform may not deny service or otherwise discriminate against riders because they are accompanied by a service animal. Bullet no exceptions. A driver may not deny service to riders with service animals. List start. Bullet no excuses. A driver may not deny service because of allergies, religious objections, or even a fear of animals. Bullet no fees. Riders will not be assessed any extra fees or charges because of their service animals. Uh huh. Okay. You can read more about our service animal policy here. HTTPS. So yeah, this is this is why I brought up this because it's short, it's direct. <laughs> the answer is always yes. <laughs> I like that. Um, so yeah, like I said, schedule your Lyft ride if you have a guide dog. Fire up the app. Go into this. Um, Go into this and be like, hey, uh, let me show you. Here is their policy right here. Uh, 
Done. Button. I have a right to ride in your car. Lift service animal rider pamphlet. Button. And it's like, even if, because we, you know, we do encounter that here um, because we do have uh, a, a large uh, Muslim population here. And this, you know, some of them are, you know, due to their religious beliefs or because they're scared of animals or whatever. Um, they, you know, they don't want to be near them. Um, and, and, you know, I, I've, I, like I said, I don't have a dog myself, but I've had coworkers or friends and they just say, well, look, you know, I, I will make sure that he doesn't come near you. You know, we'll keep his, uh, schnoz in the back seat. Um, you know, you, cause sometimes they'll like to look up through the, you know, between the seats uh, in, in the middle console or whatever. Um, but you know, it's like, oh, well, well, I'll keep him back here. He'll be, you know, at my feet. Um, so yeah, that's a good policy. I'm guessing we have something for Lyft, Lyft here too. Animal user got United or States Uber. Uber service animal policy. Button. Yep, there's Uber. Amtrak service animal policy. Button. Oh, Amtrak. Greyhound service animal policy. Federal Transit Administration FAQs. Button. Okay, fantastic. I like, like I said, I love Lyft and how they have the, the the short version instead of bringing up the whole policy. Just like boom, here's a pamphlet, here's a flyer, something that you can quickly and easily show to a driver. I, I really like Lyft. Like I use Uber too. Back button. But Lyft Back is button. a good thing. I love Transportation. Lyft. Transportation. Button. Housing. Service animal guidance. Button. Um. Employment. Questions and public transportation. So button. let's go back. The seeing eye registered advocacy. Back button. The CI. And let's check out one or two United more States categories. Federal United, State, United States state laws. Button. Let's go Segway, in here. Alabama, I'm curious. Button. California. Button. Rose, 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 New Hampshire. Button. Nevada. Nevada. Montana. Missouri. Mississippi. Minnesota. Button. Let's Minnesota see what we access, get in. Button. Oh, six of them. Minnesota access. Button. Okay, that really is not all that descriptive. I'm not sure what that is. Minnesota fraud. Button. Minnesota housing. Button. Minnesota legal assistance. Button. Minnesota pedestrian safety. Button. Minnesota protection from interference. Button. Huh. Some of these are a little vaguely labeled, so I'm not quite sure what all of them mean, but let's Minnesota, pop into Minnesota one or two of them Minnesota, here. Minnesota access. Button. Let's see, what's Minnesota access? List items. Button. Minnesota access. Minnesota access. A note from the seeing eye registered below are the Minnesota laws that give people with disabilities the right to be accompanied by their service animals in public places. Service okay. animal trainers are also protected by these laws. These laws are excerpted from the compilation of state assistance animal laws created by the Animal Legal and Historical Center. Okay, so you're even an animal in training. Okay, so I know what that is. Minnesota and the access. Button. Scrub gesture works to go back. That's a nice thing. Minnesota fraud. Button. Minnesota fraud. This oh, this is button. if someone's panning or pawning their um, their animal off as a service animal when they're not. Minnesota fraud. Minnesota fraud. A note from the seeing eye registered. Below is the Minnesota law that makes it a criminal offense to fraudulently represent that an animal yep. is a service animal. This law is excerpted from the compilation of state assistance animal laws created by the animal. Okay. Minnesota housing. Button. Yeah. List items. A note from the seeing eye registered. Below are the Minnesota laws pertaining to the rights of people with disabilities with assistance animals in housing. These laws are excerpted from the compilation of state assistance animal laws okay. created by the animal. I wish Minnesota I could have housing. a kitty. Button. I wish there was some way I could have a kitty. Minnesota legal assistance. Button. Legal assistance. Okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. Minnesota pedestrian safety. Button. Pedestrian safety. I'm curious what this is. List items. Button. A note from the seeing eye registered. Below are the Minnesota laws pertaining to the safety of blind and deaf pedestrians. These laws are excerpted from the compilation of state assistance animal laws created by the... And this is a short one. HTTPS. Minnesota statute 169.202. Subdivision 1. Limitation on carrying. Sub. Subdivision 1. Limitation on carrying. It shall be unlawful for any person to carry a white painted cane unless said person is a blind person. Ah, okay. Sub. Two. Blind pedestrian has right of way. Any person operating a motor vehicle in this state shall bring such motor vehicle to a stop and give the right of way at any intersection of any street. Right. Sub. Three. Amended by laws 1971. C. Sub. Three. Repealed by laws 1971. EX.SS. C. 27. Amended by law. Minnesota statute sanitated currentness. Public welfare and related activities. Chapter. Two. Four. Five. Yeah, whatever. Two, six. Minnesota protection from interference. Button. I wonder what. Let's see what this is. List items. A note from the seeing eye registered. Below are the Minnesota laws that protect service animals from interference by imposing criminal penalties and requiring violators to make restitution. These laws are excerpted from the compilation of state assistance huh. animals created by the Animal Legal and History. Okay, well, let's go back again. Min Minnesota. Button. So there's our state United laws. States state law United States territorial laws. Canadian federal laws. What? Canadian, Canadian educational material. Learn about the seeing eye. What educational materials? Button. Let's do educational. Guide dog at work Let's campaign materials. Here. Button. Guide dog at work campaign materials. What other educational materials? Button. Guide dog at work campaign material about the guide dog at work campaign. 
about the guide dog at work campaign. Flyer English guide dog at work. Button. Flyer Spanish guide dog at work. Guide dog at work lesson plan. Button. Guide dog at work PSA. Button. Guide dog at work PSA audio description. Button. Oh, okay. Huh. So I got a couple of videos in here. I wonder if it's just like some Google Drive or something somewhere that they're linking to. Huh. Okay. Well, you got I some materials on there. Educational materials. Etiquette. Five tips for when you meet the. Etiquette. Five tips ah. for when you meet the guide dog team. Button. Taxi and ride share flyer January 2021. Button. Huh. Etiquette. Taxi and ride share flyer January 2021. Let's see what Button. this is. I'm kind of curious what they're going to, what they would say in here. This is short. Cap T. Axi. Cap T. Axi cab and ride share drivers must transport a blind person traveling with a guide dog. New line. The Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, a federal law, specifically requires taxi cab and ride share drivers to transport animals assisting people with disabilities. Guide dogs are trained to help people who are blind or visually impaired travel safely, independently, and with dignity. Be part of that safe and independent travel by remembering these things. 1. It is illegal to deny taxi or ride share service to a blind or visually impaired person traveling with a guide dog. List start. 2. Guide dogs are trained to behave appropriately in public and travel in vehicles on the floor at the feet of their handlers. 3. Mm -hmm. Blind and visually impaired passengers pay the same fare that everyone else pays, so provide them with the same excellent service you would provide to any other passenger. List end. Failure yep. to transport a blind or visually impaired person traveling with a guide dog may result in legal action, a fine, revocation of a taxi license, or removal from a ride share platform. Protect yourself by obeying the law and do not pass up business. It's a win for you and the guide dog teams you transport. Produced by the Seeing Eye. The Seeing Eye. Okay. Another little short thing that you could, um, like, the, you know, you could, uh, let's say you're riding with an Uber. This is a short document that serves a very similar purpose. So if you want to, um, again, you schedule a ride and fire up this document. There almost needs to be like a add to favorites type of thing where I can be like, oh, let me just pop open these couple of documents um, so that I can show them to a business owner or a taxi driver or a um, rideshare driver. So really, I'm not going to go into anything else just because, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Educational materials. Button. Very pretty self-explanatory how this app works, how it's laid out. Um, it is just a bunch of resources Closing blindness folder. in uh, uh, related to guide dogs and service animals. And yeah, instead of having to find everything on the web, you just got a handy dandy little app and hopefully they you know keep it updated with any sort of new updates and regulations and things like that. But that is the uh, seeing eye uh, reference for guide dogs and stuff. So it is free, uh, especially if you are a guide dog user or even if you are uh, want to learn more about service dogs, service animals. Uh, yeah, you can check out the app there. It is very voiceover friendly. No problems really whatsoever. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Give the video a like if you did. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. Until next time, chat with everybody again later.